Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are so close. We are getting ready to start our crazy water wheel project. This is exciting. This is actually, you know, legit exciting. Happy days are here again. So what we were going to do is something very interesting, which is blow up most of the roads and put the uh, cable or the, the power underneath. And huh, this is going to be kind of difficult, but we're going to try to work it out and see if we can get it to go. Uh, so what we're going to do, this is going to uh, fulfill a couple of different purposes here. Um, and most of those involve uh, canals. We're going to get power first across to here, but also these canals are going to bring water closer to like these trees over here. And it's, yeah, it's going to be better, I hope. So we're just going to dig a one tile deep canal. And that is going to start with some explosions this way. So here we need one, two, three, four, or we blow up two. Hmm. I think we do two instead. So let's delete these trees. How far grown are they? 93%. I see. Uh, I guess we can we can get those going, but I, I do want to start with the exploding of stuffs and things, and all of our peeps are going to be extremely unhappy about this, but we'll just have to let it be for a bit, and they can get, yeah, things will get better later. I promise, beavers, it'll be okay. It'll be just fine. Let's get all of this going on there and here is okay because we don't have a full side that is going to touch the open air and therefore leak the water out we have to be very careful thinking about that in our plans here so let's go ahead and put in those dynamite pieces uh, and in order for this to not spill out here I think we're gonna have to take our power and kind of go, hmm. let's see, we could go over the top of this potentially and then down, down. Let's see, that that might actually work. Or we could go around this way. Let me think about this. Let's see, we have to go down and down. No, down one and then up one. So that's two tiles plus a turn. I think this will work actually. Let's let's try this over here. Let's try this, get rid of these and then we we fix this. Yeah, I think I think I can get this done. Let's see. Let's see if we can get this this going. And hopefully our beavers will not scream at us too much. And here, what do we do here? Let's see. We have these buildings so if if we're able to get the power to this building we could actually connect it in here somehow if we go yes okay so we don't actually have to go all the way over here we can go we can stop here if I can figure out how to get that power there um Let's see, this building is powered, I think. I could just power the ones, I could just take a power line from here to there. That is possible. Um, trying to think of a neater, nicer way to do this. I'm not sure that there is one though. Kind of like, huh, what should I do here? Cause I could take it to this building, but this is actually a better building right here, that one. Let's see, because let's just delete these trees. Uh, yeah, we need to delete those trees for sure. All right, let's see what we can get here. We're having a tiny, tiny few bits of dynamite put out by our beavers, so that's good. Okay, let's get these done. Detonate. Okay, good, very good. Now we just want a one deep canal. I don't, I don't know if we really need anything more than that right now. So we're going to start with doing, I'm going to try to put these power shafts underneath. Now, I one thing I don't know is I don't know if they can reach underneath to put them, but let's make this a test, shall we? 
Let's do a platform on top and just do a straight shaft there. And then here, I think we're going to delete these trees. I'm sorry, trees. Wait, did these grow yet? No, they're not done. Oh, come on, trees. Go, go, go. Let's go. Let's put this one on high as well. Okay, very good. Beaver's going to sleep. Huh. But yeah, I was trying to think of like a clever way to get stuff from here to there, but I don't know if that's actually possible to do there because this spot on the bottom is very, very needed. Um, let's try to do something like this. Carry the power here like that. And then... Yeah, I'm not sure if this will work either, if they can reach above where they are or not. So we can we can try to be neat about this as well. Let's let's be having neat thingy thingies. Does this actually Oh hey! This is a power thingy? Oh <gasps> look at that. That's nice. Okay, we only need two then, so that's fine. Alright, cool. That works. Boom. Makes sense, makes sense. Monuments should be able to convey power. It's very powerful, clearly. Very important. How's this going? This is doing okay. Paper and explosives. We have tons. So are we getting enough power? Yes, we are. Why do we have 950 power? Where's the rest coming from? These are only 200, right? Where is the rest coming from? No idea. Huh. All right, dynamite, let's go. I'm just going to keep on going kind of at a slow speed here for stuff. Oh, all right. And then, let's see, did this, did those things get made underneath? I don't know. I'm going to put this on super high because this is very important that we get this stuff done. So I want to make sure that we see stuff and we get everything that we want organized. So we also need dynamite over here. And then here we need another high power shaft. So, I think we need to do shaft there and there. But anyway, we need to also delete these guys. Oh, hello. Oh, that's right. We can't delete because it has a path on top. I kind of wish you could. Like, if you want to delete a thing, it's obvious that you would not care that there's a shaft on top. Okay, let's take this here. Then we take our power line power shaft all the way out to there and then put in our platforms on top and I guess they can reach down I'm hoping they can kind of like they build the dams and stuff but I'm not actually sure so we're gonna test this out just try it and see if it works this is looking very dangerous and lovely hooray let's go boom all right, so power shafts. You know what? I don't really care about those trees now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, <laughs> I think that we probably just need to just delete them and be done because we don't actually need them. We have so many uh, trees. We don't really, yeah, we don't need them. We do not. Do not. Hello? Oh, wrong thing. Whoops. I didn't want that. I wanted this one. Whoops. Okay. Put this back. All right. So let's let them build all those things first. And see what we can do next. I think I need to build the high power shaft here so I can reach it better. But otherwise we're going to be good. Let's get let's get the another water wheel here. And how are we going to do this? My thought is to get kind of up on this with using the minimal amount of farmland. I guess the neatest thing would be to go up here and then connect to the, the building. However, <laughs> however, let's see. Does this connect actually to the storage building? Let's see. No, it does not actually transmit through the building. So we do have to go on the roof. And let's just put in a there. So the there's two options. We could go up here and then go up like this. Or we can go up here and up here in some way. Uh, probably. Well, actually, we could make it go up to here and then go across. And that might be 
the easiest way to do this. I'm thinking, potentially. Yeah. So, let's see. If I get a platform... It has to be a two. There we are. And then we go a one. Yes, this is actually perfect. Hooray. Um... Now then, let me pause this, and the reason is so that we can make sure that we get all of the power pieces ready. Uh, so this is going to be here, and then we need to do high power shaft there, there, and angly thingy there. Okay, and right now, I don't think they can actually... Well, they can go this way to get behind. Well, huh, technically, they have a lot of bridges to build. <laughs> That's what they got to do. <laughs> so let's see. How many gears do we have in stock? We have so many gears. I think I'm going to pause the gear makers for now and just really focus on getting some... Actually, we'll leave one gear maker on and, and the rest are fine. Uh, and then I think we're going to try to build... Oh, we have actually many, many water tanks here. I'm going to turn this back on uh, because I think that's important. Let's see. Let's see how many people we have here. Water dump. All right, we can turn off the water dumps now because there's less than 20 days. I got so involved in building, I kind of forgot about stuff. Another thing is um, we can probably turn off a lot of the lumberjack posts as well. Let me just turn off this one because um, we have too many trees already. So I think we can turn off some. This is not as cleared as I'm, I would like. This, the tree's got to grow. Oh, wait, did I delete those trees yet? No. <laughs> they finally grew. Hooray. That's good. Okay, so how are we doing over here? I think, oh, we're doing really great. Their one water tank is full. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the water dumps right now. We have three here. Turn them off. God, I really wish for like some kind of circuits or hut for the, the the general, I don't know, the mayor, mayoress, where it's like, hey, send a guy to turn them off when this condition happens or whatever. That would be so nice. Oh, by the way, we finished our fence here. That looks pretty snazzy. I like it. I think it's really cool. So now we have this little, little enclave with a beaver on top. That's so good, good, so kind, so nice. The hooray is real. Now then, what else do we want to have here? I want to make this like a lovely little kind of place to settle, have fun. That doesn't work here, but we could get a carousel. They don't have a temple in this area, so I'm f f thinking maybe we need a temple uh, for our beavers to worship in. We could also use a carousel. Maybe that's maybe that could be over here even. And just have a nice little carousel where they can have fun and enjoy themselves. Of course, we have no power over here, so we might have to bring power, you know, across from the mountains or something, some crazy like up here. Yeah, that would be cool, wouldn't it? Just bring power down here and have like a fairgrounds. That would be fun. I think I like that idea. And maybe even surround it by trees or bushes or something. And just, yeah, that would be cool. Really cool. So, let's see. Uh, do we want to have more here? I don't think so, necessarily. I'm feeling like, let's see. We can't build over any buildings, except for this one. So I'm thinking maybe we take the power shaft this way. Like, I guess that's on top of there. Um... Or we could take it behind here, because that's kind of like no building zone sort of thing. Um, but I would like to take it across the top of this, because that makes sense in terms of like, you know, less tree wastage. So let's see, what can we do here? That is, yeah, that would be, okay, let's delete this tree. All right, let's do a deletey deletey. Let's delete that one. And then we gotta delete these guys here. We could just take it across and then behind. That would work as well. So we need to figure out though the height on this thing. So our beaver's gonna have to gonna have to hustle here. Now, do we have unemployed beavers that we can put in the power wheels? We do. 
We actually do, but we actually want to turn on this builder's hut instead. I kind of forgot about that. Let's turn on these. Okay, that one is on. I guess I turned on all the water dumps, right? These are on. No, they're not on. They are not on. Help. Oh, no, wait. We were turning... Oh, jeez. We we're turning them off. Whoops. Okay, brain. Brain needs a holiday. Oh, this is... Uh, these are running a little bit low on water there. But it's okay. We have plenty of water right now. Let's turn off the dumps. I think we only have that one. I think that's right. Yeah. Okay, so this this is almost completed as well. I could put another this road here. That would help us, maybe. All right, so what are we doing? We have... Let's unpause this. Oh, wait, we need to, to wait. We need to get those things first. But yeah, we are waiting on planks. Do we actually have many planks? Let's figure that out. So we used a ton to build... Uh, stuff we only no we don't we don't have any planks and I expect it's because they are finally constructing stuff here as in yeah there they go they're constructing some of these uh, the power shafts as well as the bridges so that's good they are getting some things done ah that's right we have these guys running that's where we're getting the extra power from silly me okay we're actually good so where are these unemployed people Let's find them. That would be actually useful to me if I could click the unemployed thing and find where the heck they were. Uh, as in town center, it would like zap me to the next town center. I think that would be really useful. Uh, okay, so we have tons and tons of food in this district. Uh, except for, do we have enough carrots? Hmm. What do we got here? I think that's all bakery food. This is all bread. Wow, they have a thousand bread. That's a heck of a lot of bread. This is, let's see, grilled potatoes. I think more, oh, that's carrots and grilled potatoes and regular potatoes. Okay, I guess we need more storage for carrots. Mm, oh, I know what else I wanna put out here. There is a beautiful design um, that someone in Discord has made for storage. Let me go and look it up real quick. Okay, so through the magic of YouTubeness, I have looked it up and uh, there have been a couple of beautiful designs, one by Griffin and one by Discoblay, posted in our uh, in Discord. And I've actually pinned them because they are so lovely. Now, I thought about putting one over here, but I kind of want this to be the fun zone. So I was thinking maybe over here. This would be a good spot for a big storage place. Let's see, we need... Um, the one I want to build, I think I, I like it for the pretty. Um, also, the one by Griffin is really gorgeous too, but I don't think we actually need that much storage. So we're going to go with the one by Discoble. It is three large storage or three medium and two small. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I kind of want to center it here. It's seven wide. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we'll start there. So we're going to start the later edge there, and it's also five wide. So let's see, how is this thing? It is connecting. We could actually have the road coming out in a different way, but I think I'm just going to have it standing uh, on its own. And we need to have at the center, so that is block one, two, three, four. And that one is going to have stairs coming down here. Let's just delete that. And of course we can, we can always change stuff here, but this is kind of like the basis of this design. And I really think it's so pretty. So we're gonna put in, let's see, get some large, or I guess they're large warehouses, they're just not the giant ones. So I think we do this and that, and then we need to put this on top. So I guess we need to put in some of these platforms there. I guess, what are these, two and four? I'm just gonna put in levees, cause I don't think they, well, they might need to go through. You never know, they might need to go underneath. We can actually do that if we want to. We can put a road under there. Uh, and an easy way, I don't know if, I, I know a lot of people tell me this, but I, I always don't do it, but you can go by layer. You can see layer zero and then go up from there. And the easiest way is just to hold and drag. Uh, so here we can actually see the uh, thing underneath. So we can just put a path right there. 
So nothing is unseeable in this game, which is kind of cool. I like that part of it. Okay, so let's put in another storage place, large warehouse here. Uh-huh. And then, oh, have I miscounted? Surely not. Have I? Oh, I have. If I haven't, hold on. Come on, brain, work. Ah, it's here. That's right. Okay, so, yep, yeah, this is how this works. There we go. All right, so let's get our... I'm going to go ahead and connect these this way. And that's easier. And we have... This one can go up here. And we have this one on the side. And the really nice part about this design, I think, is that you get to see the circular thingies over here. I think it looks very cool. Uh, all right, so this one is up here. Whoopsies. The entrances are on the side. All right. I love to see people's designs for stuff because they look so darn cool. Um, we might actually need to get up here because this one has some roofs on it. So let's get to our roofs decorations they are the other ones this one and this one and they have the peaks on them as well i love these things and then we have plants in the middle now, i'm not exactly sure what order to build these in so we're gonna have to figure it out but let's see let's just make it happen and get this going there we go and it's going to look so pretty when it's done. It's going to be really nice. I am going to go ahead and disconnect the roads for now. So that the, the warehouses don't fill. But we should be able to build everything. Now, question is, how do we get up here? And I think the answer might be that we pause some of the building. Uh, some of the, um, the roofs. And pause these. And then somehow get up top here. So I think we'll take this off and this off and then put in a staircase here and then a platform there so they can go on top. So they're going to construct this roof first, then we're going to undo the bushes and then the next roof. So this is going to be a very nice large thingy. I think it's going to be great. So, okay, so this tree has been deleted. That's perfect. Let's get our platforms here. Oh, uh, that's not quite what I wanted, but it is close. So we'll get our double platform there. Not quite what I wanted. Oh, all right. So this one can be shorter. That's cool. Put this as a double, and then we're just going to keep on going down and down here. Um, wow. How are we going to do this? This is fun. Because, so, we need to get a power, power up over this mountain, this away. Um, so the first one they can build over the cliff's edge. That is not the issue. The issue is everything else. So I think what we do, what we can do is just do this, is build uh, stairs for everything that we need. And let's get our power high shafts in here, like there and there. Okay, good, very good. So here, this is a thing that we can do. So here we can either use high power shafts to get up here, which I guess is the best option as in the, I don't know, the most uh, fair option, shall we say, <laughs> without, without exploiting mechanics or something. So let's take this like that. All right, so let's let them construct this stuff. We do actually have a path up here. So I'm going to take this path over to the end. Make sure that they can reach all of this fun stuff. Yeah, there we go. And then here, of course, we need to reach up as well. And I'm not quite sure how to do that exactly. Um, because we don't actually have uh, a thing here. We could take down this tree maybe. Well, I guess we should go for a spiral staircase here, but we haven't. I really like all these puffy trees. They're kind of like, yay, fun. 
Um, but I think we're gonna have to delete them right now. Gonna have to delete them because the sadness has arrived. No, not that. Not that. No, this one. Um, so go up, up. Yep, there, there. So we'll take these out. We can always replace them. They'll be fine when we're, they're replaced. I do keep worrying about that. I'm like, oh no, oh no. So let's go down a layer and find out. We actually do have this entire shaft made. So this is good. This is actually really good. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna delete this tile, I think. Yes, yes. No, oh God, mm -mm. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I didn't wanna do that kind of deletion. I meant to click the thing. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, it's fine. No worries. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. In the meantime, we can actually uh, build a path across here. Uh, I'm going to be- I forgot to do that, actually. I can build a path all the way over so that we can get stuff done. I'm going to go ahead and delete these trees because they are- yeah, we need to delete the trees. So trees go bye-bye. Sorry. Yeah, sad times. Um... And I guess the only, we can actually salvage this uh, piece for a tree. We can put one tree there instead. So maple, no, excuse me. I, I was clicking this. Yo, pay attention thing. We'll go ahead and prioritize these trees because they're not actually being prioritized. I don't know why this isn't being prioritized. Oh, probably because they can't reach it. Uh-huh. That would be why. Um, also, I've had a few questions about... Why don't I have berry bushes in other districts? So the reason I don't is because I have to have a gatherer as well. I have the foresters maybe, but I also have to have a gatherer. And I feel like, you know, if one place can supply all the berries, it's fine. Uh, because you have shared labor through the distribution posts. I, I just don't want to dedicate a beaver for doing berries all the time. And that's why I don't have them. No other reason than that, really. I mean, you can if you want to. But it's just up to personal preference, really. Wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. No, 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 no. Oh, dear. We have some issues now. Okay. We're having uh, some over over flooding in here. That was not uh, planned. Whoops. I was hoping we'd get that water wheel done, but we can't. Act it doesn't matter if we get the water wheel done if we can't. Oh, wow. This, this is. Look at this monumental hey this looks looking great looking fabulous okay nice beavers doing monumental work it's great all right so and they are actually finishing this stuff as well look at this they finished this beaver thingy thingy the statue so we're gonna take this apart and go with our other plans so yay all right so all of this is ready to go Let's put in stairway and then we need another stairway here. And so then we can get a second level entrance there. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually prioritize this stuff. Uh, these need to be prioritized down here because yeah, we need them. We actually need only the one, but we'll do both. And that way that can get sorted. And then we can actually delete some of the old houses and maybe start to get some more stuff up here. So that ended up being pretty handy, pretty handy indeed. Yeah, building vertically, especially when this is so expensive to build is so valuable. All right, yeah, we're really still running low on planks and stuff. I'm glad we ha made the plank makers. Uh, oh, look, it's like this is starting to <laughs> get very, uh, very low on water. But it's okay, we only have 13 days left. <laughs> Which was like the sum total of last time's thing. Mm -hmm. Alright, I wonder if we stop delivering gears here. I want to check on that. Let's see, Ruins Deep, Temporary Tin. We actually don't need anything to Temporary Tin because it was temporary. Uh, let's see here, Scrap Farmington is just logs, nope. Planks, yes. Ruins deep, ruins deep, scrap Farmington. Oh, okay, so we need to deliver gears. Let's go here, yep. And they are getting berries, right? Yeah, they're getting berries and bread. They don't need bread anymore, I think. Water is just a precaution, but I do want to keep water on that list for sure. Uh, I want to go ahead also and deliver some dynamite. 
Okay, let's go and deliver dynamite. Or explosives, whatever they want. Let me click here and see what their limits are. Okay, explosives. Yeah, 10 is enough, I think, for now. We have how many... We have, we have much bread. <laughs> We're good with bread. Thank you. Looking good with bread. This is so cool. I love the fences. Even though we don't have animals to, to herd yet. We, I, there's some been some interesting suggestions on the animals. Okay, now we can... Uh, you know what I would love? I would love to have priority list pause. So I can just drag it over instead of having to click every one of these. Though, if you're looking for the hotkey, it's P to pause. Um, Alright, so now... What we can do, there are a couple of options here. We have water, and I think this is going to last us, but if we needed to, this entire reservoir here is not pumped, except there are two pumps here, which we can start using. Those are after this dam. So this dam, I think we want to turn it up to, say, 1.5. I think that's where we're at anyway. So we can actually start pumping this reservoir. This is our main food reservoir. I don't think we need it because I think we have a ton of food. We have 2,400 food now in this sector or in this uh, district. Um, but we can actually start, maybe we can start these guys up. Just to get a little bit more water up in here. But I don't know if it's going to work because we don't actually have these uh, things built yet. So, all right, let's explode this. Detonate that. Yay. Yay. Um, all right, and then we have the gears from underneath there. Let's go ahead and switch layers and so you can see that. Oh, we don't actually have it, do we? Okay, well, let's make it. I didn't realize that. Let's see. Let us get this thing. Power. This thing, and then this thing, and then that thing. Yep. All right, so we need to figure out. We do have the amount of gears. We have 61 gears. Which should be enough. Let's go ahead and go to high level here. Okay. And looks like this really worked out. They they built this from the side, so that's fine. Uh, what is going on with this? I think they need... Okay, logs, planks, and gears. They should be able to reach that easily. I think they're just mostly focusing on the closest things or things that were put down first. I'm not sure which way it goes. But having a canal here is actually a good good thing for these trees here. I think it will benefit them immensely. So now we're going to start to pump out this area. We don't have... Let me just go ahead and pause one of the building huts for... There we go. Pause you and... Did not get us a beaver. Okay. Pause again. Pause them both at the same time. Does that help? Hello? Oh, it doesn't matter because... <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, um... They don't have road access. <laughs> uh, what I should do, I, I've been thinking about this. I really don't want to destroy that berry bush, but I think it's going to have to go. I think we'll just have the path continuing along the side of this dam uh, or levee. And let's just delete that. I think we delete that right there. Let's delete the thing. Keep clicking on the wrong thing. And we'll just prioritize that high. Okay. Okay, things are moving onward. Looking good, looking good. We are actually getting our farms back. Hooray. 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 Oh, hello. Do we have another... Did we clear out the forester from here? I think we might have, actually. Um... I don't see one. So this can actually, all of this stuff can change. This whole area of trees can become farmland instead. I think that's what we do here because I don't see another forester. I do not. No, I think I think we don't have one. So this is, oh, that's kind of great, actually. That's actually really great because that means that we can um, reutilize it for farming because we're short on farms anyway. So let's clear this. And these guys also get cleared. And they can get cut whenever they want to. So what are we short on here? Seems like we always have enough wheat. So let's uh, not do wheat. Let's do some more potatoes and carrots. We can... Maybe we'll just extend this with potatoes. There we go. 
and that'll be fine. Good, good. Happy days. I could actually build a temporary forester and put one berry bush there because I feel like we're lacking in that one. Okay, so let's see. Triple platform. Do we care about platforms versus levees? Probably not. We could actually build a levee here because there's nothing we want to put underneath it. It's not necessary. We could even extend, like delete those other two bushes and then get, you know, four more tiles of water which is probably worth it. Or four more, four more voxels times how many high? One, two, three, four, five high. So that's like 20 voxels of water. That's a lot of water. That's a lot of water actually. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, it's like, oh wow, geez, that's a ton. All right, cool. So this is fun. Glad we're getting our beavers doing stuff. This is a little bit worrying, but I think it's going to be solved by having the water go through here and go through these water wheels. I'm really looking forward to seeing how that changes everything uh, because I think it's going to be kind of cool. All right, what else have we got going here? We've got some bakery happening. Yay. Do we have enough bread and potatoes? Yes, we have tons of everything. Well, actually, we're kind of short on the bread. We're really short on bread. And is that because we are lacking power for the grist mills? What's going on? We have three flour. It looks like maybe we need another bakery running. Yeah, maybe. Okay, so let's unpause this bakery and see if we can get a couple of beaver friends there. All right. Oh, yes. And of course, I almost forgot. I want to create a temple. Maybe we put the temple over here. That's a cool idea. So let's do that. Let's put our temple here. This is so strange because I feel like we are, uh, in general, we kind of crowd things together. And in this city, Scrap Farmington, I feel like we shouldn't. We should just, you know, be very, I don't know, be like, yeah, things, you know, having a proper way of putting things out, decoration, all the things. I, I feel influenced by Mayor Tux. I definitely feel influenced from Mayor Tux. This is, yeah, this is probably not good. <laughs> uh, what I do want to do, I'm thinking about putting a forest here, here, a temporary one, so that I could plant trees around this area. Alternatively, we could use bushes or other forms of decoration. I think maybe having shrubs in front is nice. So this is, it's actually kind of good because the beavers are going to walk through these sections and get their fill of stuff, which is cool. Ooh, you know what I could do? Down here I could do a, I want to put a roof somewhere. Maybe we put roofs on some of these houses and not all of them. Let's see, I don't know. Like that? Maybe. Could actually put some of them sideways as well. Um, and then, of course, we do have a two by two roof like that. It's kind of nice. Yeah, I think that's nicer. That looks cool. I like it. Okay, so what's going on here? Ah, yes, we're waiting for gears on here. We are just doing logs and planks there. And let's get a forester <laughs> so that I can just fill this area with trees. All right, let's pause to get the tree cutting thing. And I'm going to just disappear all of that or delete that order from everything here. Okay, so it does look like, though, we have lots of water in this area. We have 11 days left. There's no sign of dying happening. So I think they're quite content in Scrap Farmington. I think they're doing really well. Um, this looks really good. We're building this further down here. Wow. Things are really moving on here. That's very nice. Okay, so we now have three homes built here in um, Ruins Deep. Let's see our main thing there. Okay, so... We have 60 houses and 36 occupants. So let's start deleting some stuff uh, because we could build further sideways if we didn't have these buildings here. So what do we got now? We have 40 now. So it might be time to 
let's see, what we can do is build another thing over here. So let's just do that. Let's get, first of all, we're going to upgrade priority on these, or at least one of them. Doesn't have to be the other, it can be the, just this. And then I want to add more, oh no, I did a bad thing. No, I did a bad thing. The bad thing is I was gonna do a spiral staircase here <laughs> and I can't now. Nay, nay. Alternatively, uh, we can add a, a second layer somewhere. Two, two filled things should be enough for a while. We're just going to do it that way because some of these, we can also make storages here. I think this one, this one is above the water line. So I think it's fine. This is just for building damn bits. I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Okay. Let's build some more platforms that we need. So we need to go this way and this way. Okay, I'm just trying to get that level and then these are going to be twos. So there we go. And then we'll upgrade this. Actually, we're going to put, let's put in the, the houses as well. So housing, barracks, boom, boom, and boom. Oh no, no, no. Nine, 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 nine. I'm going to put one here, I think. Wow, that is building upward. Now, now we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna waste platforms building stairs. <laughs> That's the next thing we waste things on. <laughs> oh, this is funny. Okay, uh, right. So let's see. Oh no, that doesn't actually work that way, does it? No, it does not. So here we need to have a this level, and then here, and then higher than here, which is there. Right? One, two, and high. Yeah, that's gonna have to be over there. So this is probably not ideal. I would say we need something like a, something else up here, I'm guessing. So maybe this is the part where we build this symmetrically a bit. Uh, let's see, let's see what we can put here. Housing. Do we want to have housing? Maybe. Maybe this is where we put a roof and put the fun fun park uh, or social thing in here. Like the rooftop terrace, maybe? Have a roof over here instead. Uh, let me look at housing again. We can do... This one would have to be directly above, and that's not quite what I want usually. But, I mean, it, alternatively, it's not that bad either. It's okay. Um, hmm. This is f 10. And here we have 8. So what we can do, actually, is do something uh, like this. We can put these guys in here. Um, like that, maybe. We could do something like this. That's going to be crazy looking. It's like beaver, beaver skyscraper city now. I don't know if that's a, an aesthetic we like or not. Hmm. Kind of like, eh, I don't know if I like that. Let's see. Let's go down a couple of levels here. Uh, because, so now this house doesn't have a, doesn't have a way to get around it. But I guess what we can do is something like put in the pathway around like here. Because if we build this symmetrically with this housing set, that will also work. So this needs to be other. Let's go up. Okay, so this has to be down, down, and this has to be there so we can get a path through here. And then we go up here and then path there. 
Now, do we want to build these guys? I don't know. It is an efficient thing for housing, I think. Instead of just having this one 20 block, we have three of eight, which is 24, I think. Right, yeah, that's 24 and this is 20. No, this is 10. This is only 10. So we actually get quite a lot of value from having these skyscrapers. Um, I'm not sure about the aesthetic, though. I'm not really that that crazy about them being that vertical. Uh, maybe we just go for something else. I don't know how many we have here. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 50 residents we could have here. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Let's see. Let me go ahead and just pause them. Pause, 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 and let's see how how all of this is functioning. We have 36 residents so far, so we're not really, yeah, worried too much about stuff, I think. So with these guys, I do want to make sure that we move the the plank makers and the wheel maker or in the wheels. Um, but also, more importantly, I think we need to move like the hauling posts and the drop-off points. I think those are kind of important to have somewhere. So if we do a road here, we can get some of those buildings organized. As in, this would be almost enough to build one plank maker. But what we can also do is make planks from this. This, we can transfer the power over over the world. So that's other the other thing I'm thinking about working on here. Um, let's get... Oh yeah, I forgot to dynamite this area. Or maybe I was just waiting on the trees to be removed. Okay, so this part is done. Wow. Okay, so these buildings actually have energy right now. So we need to start dynamiting this area and get these up. So, let's see. We are going to do a couple of different things here. Let's remove this road. Remove, remove, remove. Let's dynamite this. So all of these, this part needs to be dynamited. So this is going to go, this is where we're going to have the high power shaft connecting to the building. And then the road can go this away, I think. Because the road needs to go kind of around this. So let's take it that way and then just delete that. Okay, and that's what we're going to do for now. I'm glad we have some beavers still generating points. Okay, so we have zero unemployed here. How many people here? Wow, five unemployed. Gosh, that's a heck of a lot. Let's see. Do we have... I guess we can do two. I don't know. Do, I don't think we actually need two there. We need some more builders. Let's take you guys. And then Forrester can have an employee, an employee. Let's see, and what else do we want to do? I think maybe we need another builder's hut somewhere. Okay, let's take that builder's, let's make another builder's hut. <laughs> That's such a strange thing. It's like, for the longest time, we haven't needed any builders here. But now we need all of them. I'll just employ them here for now. At the hauling post, it should be okay. So, also we're going to need room for a temple out here. Uh, that's something we might be able to do. How many squares is it? Is it five or... Temple. Yeah, it is five squares. Right. So what we could do, technically, is if we take this house off, we could have the temple on this level instead... Uh, if we have something else here, we could have another log storage here or something else that is maybe a, um, could be a large food storage. That's another thing that will work. Yeah, I like that idea, actually, having the temple up here. Uh, and that means, yeah, I like that, actually. Let's delete some of these things here. Let's delete these. And, oopsies, Hello. Uh, let's get into delete mode. That's easier. And then if we can actually delete this part as well. I kind of like this, like redesigning as you're going along. I'm sure it probably annoys some people, but I hope not. I hope not too much. But in any case, 
Um, I, I don't know. I just enjoy the whole thing, the whole process of this. It's, it's quite fun. Uh, all right. So now we want to find a way to make this bigger. And for now, we're going to get our platform there. So we need to have two more lengths over here. And that is going to be accomplished by adding more platforms. Now here, now that, now that we're at level, I want to add specific platforms. Um, maybe we build a, I think we build a storage place here somewhere. Let's see storage. It's going to be a large warehouse coming there. And then we just need to fill in this tiny gap, but I think we're going to fill it in with just what well, we could fill it in with levees actually, since there's no reason to kind of do anything else with it. Oh, it can't be built on a building. Oh no. All right. That's interesting. So platforms it is, we shall add these here. And that means that we can add our temple up here and that's going to give our no, we can't do that. No. Oh, games. Ah, sigh. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going to have to redesign this again. Apologies. I forgot that the temple has to be built on the ground. Yep. So I think what we're going to do is maybe we'll have it out here. Actually, this is kind of a nice place for a temple in amongst all the trees. Uh, we can put it kind of on the edge here. Let's just do that. I forgot that they have a ritual connection to the ground and they need it. So yeah, there we go. But we'll go ahead and put those on priority. And this I will redesign to do something else with. Now, maybe, well, I mean, the other thing is maybe we just have more buildings here. Maybe we could have our high rises this way and have like a little town. That is also a, uh, an idea like this. That looks very boring. Oh God. <laughs> no, the no is real. It's like, nope. Mm -mm. Ain't happening. Sorry. No, 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 no. All right. We're probably going to just do the, uh, do the other stack that I was thinking about and we'll see. So anyway, I just want to say thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.